All right, hello and welcome back everyone. If you remember right, on my previous episode, you just saw him in place of the Joker. And then you died, supposedly. <laughs> but we're going to continue on here. Wait for it to go back. As you can tell, we're back to another scarecrow thing. Looks like we got a very short timed run here. What are you trying to do? When I voice heard the Joker ready to take over this fight. You have to be Recent careful. successes with Bruce Wayne, a classic case of split personality. That, if I uh, ever you don't walk in the light as you're fighting. As a pioneer in slaughterhouse. <laughs> Our head of research, Dr. Clay, has made no real progress, but he seems to enjoy his work, so what the hell? Our new patient's ward is manned by Waylon Jones. What I'm assured that he's cured almost every chicken. patient sent to him and boasts empty beds in all his wards. <laughs> sure thought he was going to see me there. Don't remember if I got to fight this guy. I can't believe what you see, Batman. Oop, there we go. Okay, it's just kind of a trippy illusion thing. Here is to stick with that floating platform. <laughs> and don't walk, run, obviously. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Keep hiding, Batman. I will find you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. 
Are you enjoying the extra dose that you got? Oh, I will rush things this time. I'm going to save you every moment of your terror as they slowly destroy you. Bad skinny tip. Skeleton. Oh, come on, I thought I avoided it. <laughs> That's it. We got a bunch of small How ones and the big one. Does it scare you to know that I have almost defeated you? arm. Alrighty, and as you can see, all the skeletons are actually uh, these guys. Very uh, strange, but I think after you, that third one, I think pretty well does a good job of explaining what's going on. <laughs> to go and follow him, but first, since I got all these new toys, I'm going to go backtrack a little bit and find all those extras I couldn't get beforehand, and I believe I should be able to get most of them now. Now it'll just be a matter of where to find them again. Doing them, or finding them going one direction versus another direction can always be kind of confusing. I think now I'm just going in circles. Yep, okay. That's alright. I'd rather check twice then be completely wrong. Alright, should be, yep, over here. Should have two different walls. 
Go ahead and do this one first. Spring was a turning point, a new beginning, a glorious realization of my true destiny. My family's killer perished in an unfortunate accident. These animals cannot be cured. Like dogs, they only respond to discipline. And if that fails, then I was afraid that these accidents would have to continue. All right. Now we'll go ahead and blow up this other wall. There is something in here. Maybe it's these. Nope. Hmm. Guess it's just an extra wall. Alright. That works too, I guess. Must have been like a decoy wall. And again, you can just jump straight down the elevator shaft and avoid all of this. But again, I just want to make sure I get all of the extras I can on my first walkthrough as I can. Oops. Why should he? He let Green out in the first place. So what's down there? Killer Croc cell. No one goes in and comes out again whole. So why is Scarecrow going down there? Who cares? I locked the door behind him. He ain't coming out again. That way we don't give him a chance at all. don't have to be mad to work here, but it certainly helps. <laughs> I didn't think that was scannable, but you never know. Now the way down to Killer Croc is open. But... Just get out of here in one piece. Good plan. That's what they think. But since I'm here and I have a moment, if you can't see the blinking, I guess, orangish looking boxes, those are people that you can get their guns from. So that's another thing I'm going to have to watch out for. He's here! Give me that! 
now that they're taken care of, go back up here, if it'll let me. Maybe not. There we go. Go back in here. To this room, if you remember from one of my very first videos that I was trying to scan but couldn't. I'm impressed. That was one of the more taxing ones. All right, now I believe we can move on. There we go. I want to say this is something too. It's a meat locker. Okay, I guess it doesn't do anything. Check my Riddler challenges real quick. Skeletons. Danger, keep out. Yeah, we don't ever listen to warnings, do we? Too late, fat man. One step closer, and this goes into the water. The cave will fill with your deepest, darkest nightmares, and you will never reach your precious venom roots. <laughs> Don't do it, Crane. <laughs> took care of part of it. I don't think it'll let me do anything with the bag. Which is funny. you think you'd pick it up at least. But... I'm trying to remember... okay. This is where we're going to have to use our fancy new tool. As you can see, it looks like there's a trophy over there. Make sure there's no random walls to take out. Try to not whiff this. There we go. And just checking. Cause I can't when I get down here I can't remember where everything has been.
So I believe this is where I need to go. By all the danger signs. So, guess we'll move on. Oracle, I'm heading into Croc's lair to collect the plant spores Ivy spoke about. He's in some kind of old sewer network. Send me the schematics, it's like a maze down here. There's nothing on record. Bruce, are you sure about this? Sounds like a suicide mission. I've got no choice. I've tuned the scanner to detect the spores required to make the antivenom. It'll lead me straight to them. What about Croc? Croc's just an animal. And animals just need traps and the right bait. I'll be fine. I'll contact you when I'm done. Yeah, it's a really big bat symbol. As you can tell, it does break, but you can't actually blow this one up. Okay, now the objective here is you don't want the the noise waves to exceed the line. These of floating platforms will support me, but will also send sound waves through the water, giving away my position to Croc. I'll need to move as slowly as possible. All right. Now, when you move slow, you don't need to go at like a snail's pace. I think I do believe you can just walk normally, and it won't do too much. But you want to make sure you have your battering out, if I remember correctly. Just don't run, because that will alert him. Hence the noise right there. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbits. And that's why I said to keep the battering out. That one's one of the more fairly simple ones where he pops up in front of you, but he's known to pop up from side to side or behind even. Okay, so now we have basically a three-way turn. Okay, obviously they can't go anywhere that way. So we have to figure out which way to go. If it counts, starts counting up, which I believe... <laughs> See, like now it's counting up, which means I'm going too far the wrong direction. So, we're gonna go this way. Stay down, Croc. These spores don't contain enough of the antivenom mold. I'm going to need to find more. All right. So as you can tell, that one doesn't do enough, so. I have your scent. I'm gonna say I need to go forward. Yep. We'll see about that, Mr. Croc. That 
was a little closer than uh, anticipated. I wasn't sure if I could get him from around the corner. <laughs> <Whew. laughs> was not sure where he was coming from. Okay, now I'm going too far. Look around, see if I can't see. And then when he does do that, you can run. He's obviously, uh, as you can see, that the meter goes down. You do want to be careful to not let him get too close. If he gets too close, he will take you down with him. If I remember right. I can taste you already. And with that, that'll do it for this episode. To see the rest of this, please stay tuned for the next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, comment if you like, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.